goals seven games as a flame since that deal for Montreal as we get set to go second and final meeting of the season Canadians saw season high five game win streak come to an end with an 8-4 loss in Winnipeg on Tuesday still battling as the door off gets it ahead not out Petrie kept it on side takes a look shoots the block gets stopped by Markstrom rebound put across broken up by Coleman before Armia could get over to it caught up in behind the Montreal net Suzuki trying to push it free. Richardson got it in front. Oh, nice stop by Hammond with a one-timer by Trevor Lewis. Here's Coleman. Backlund. Back to Coleman. Back to Backlund. And his speed go. He'll work it to the other side and leave it in the corner for Mangiapane. He scoops it up. Here's Mangiapane. Out front the score! Coleman on the redirection. And the Flames make a 1-0. Watching this in the broadcast booth, and you look at the work down low, Backlund, Mangiapane, and Coleman. And Mangiapane comes out of the corner, all starts the room, watch Coleman. He sneaks in behind both defensemen. Romanov, Petrie, and Evans, the centerman. Everybody's mixed up, and they leave Coleman all alone. And the wins are for Montreal, back to Cosmo. Hoffman, Hoffman, Hoffman. 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 Side of the goal past in front. Nice stop, Markstrom, as he robs Rem Pidlick. Face off win by Suzuki. Kulak looks, passes. Copio throws it across. Here's Petrie. Down low to Anderson. Got a shot away. That's turned aside. Monahan from the top of the circle. Pass denied. He'll get it back. Working across to Shillington. Penalty comes to an end. Kulak's out of the box. And time to make it a three on one. Lekkonen down the way. Stopped by Markstrom. Can't corral the rebound. Petrie scores. Tucks it in underneath Markstrom. And with 26 seconds to go in the period, Montreal ties this game at one. And Shillington can't handle the puck now. All of a sudden, they've got a three on one. Here's the first shot by Lekkonen. Now it's Matt Scramble. And then Markstrom tries to double pad stack. The puck comes free to... Petrie, and from a really tough angle, it looks like uh, Kulak was kind of tied up with Markstrom as well. Yeah, you know what? I wonder if Flames, no, I was wondering if maybe there's a tiny bit of goalie interference, but they decided yep. there was. Looked ahead. Zidorov gets control, and here's Kachuk. Ahead to Gaudreau. He'll step the puck into the zone. Hammond puts the puck to the corner. Romanov didn't see it. Stolen by Gaudreau. Walks in front. Gaudreau scores! Johnny Gaudreau goes top shelf. Makes it 2-1 Calgary. And then there's a turnover in the corner. Romanov couldn't handle it. And then Johnny Gaudreau, that's his favorite spot. Hammond probably is not aware of that, and he goes down fairly early, and you can see there's a lot of net exposed high short side, and for a guy like Johnny Gaudreau that loves that area. Off the draw, the puck dumped in by Weidman. Late stages power play, cut off by Markstrom, and he'll try and clear himself. Bounced off Suzuki and out, and there's Mangiapane able to scoop it up shorthanded. Toffoli goes to the goal. Mangiapane scores on the backhand! the room up the middle gets a little bit of help here and then Mangiapane widely backs in but take a look at Hammond when it's all said and done Hammond just backs in too quickly and leaves more room high short side than he probably should have second shorthanded goal this season by Mangiapane it's a nice backhand but I have to say I think now Montreal able to set it up with a two-man advantage Caulfield back at the line Hoffman, Suzuki, scores, tucks one in on the two-man power play and makes it a one-goal game. And Markstrom has to be careful because he fired the puck down the ice. And this is just what the Canadians do. They're going to get the puck to the right, down low. There's Suzuki, and he just sneaks that in. Not sure if that goes far side or five-hole. Sneaks right, yeah, right under the pad. There's a tiny bit of room. Markstrom's right pad just... Lifted up just enough.
Nice save, Hammond, right off the draw, then stopped the rebound as Gaudreau got the first shot, then could chuck the second, and Hammond made two stops there in that flurry. That's a great desperation save by Hammond, so two quick saves within about... Pass picked off, Suzuki takes off, Shillington off the bench, low man back, Suzuki tries to make a move, denies, good play by Shillington. Following up though is Hoffman, drops it off to Sherratt, shoots, scores! Ben Sherratt makes it 3-3 in the third. And there was a turnover led to Suzuki. Now Chillington does a really nice job. Johnny's there, and it seems as though they're in good shape, but in sneaking from the point with Sherratt, and that isn't a shot that you would think typically would beat Markstrom. And it doesn't appear to me as there's any contact, so no goalie interference. And Sherratt is given credit. He just rips it past him. You're not going to hit him and then have Gallagher go away. That's not how it works. Richie tips it back to Gabranson. Rich shot. Deflected in front. Pad save. Rebound shot high by Richie. And the puck goes out of play. Thank you very much. You got to put the cowboy hat aside and put Pavlinski's helmet on. <laughs> that was, good that was funny, yeah. Look good with the ball, right. too. That's a nice look. Here's back over the play back to Anderson. Anderson to the circle up front. Deflected. Pull the kick. Shuffle it in the rebound. The puck back the other way to Foley, put it in front, and nobody there for Calgary. Intercepted by Rem Pitlick with speed, working in on Lucic back on game. Pitlick out front, that's denied by Markstrom. Plays it back to the line, puts shot, Markstrom makes the save. Off that shark by Clegg, and he's able to hang on. 2.59 left in the third. 3-3. Three, three. Sherrod off the boards, batted out. And away come the Canadians. Got bad into the zone. Trying to shot tonight by Hannafin. Got it back though. Bend it across. Here's Hoffman. Scores! Mike Hoffman fires one home. And Montreal takes its first lead of the game with 2.45 to go in the third. Through the neutral zone with Dauphin and Gallagher. And then all of a sudden, it's a broken play. Lindholm overskates it. Comes back to Hoffman. And we've known about his scoring ability for years. Resets on the half boards. In front, the puck that just wide. Kachuk goes between the legs. That was wide of the goal. Fed back around. Anderson gets to it to keep it on side with a long shot. It's got by him. Rebound is good. Elias Lindo ties it up. 27 seconds to go. You see... Calgary just putting tons of pucks to the net. Matthew Kachuk tries to go between the legs. Lake. See Petrie, he's exhausted. He doesn't get anything on that clearing attempt. Rasmus Anderson from the point. The rebound can't be controlled. And the puck is just shoveled by Matthew Kachuk, or Montepani, excuse me, right onto the stick of Lindholm, wide open net. Final 10 seconds in regulation. Here's Tanev. Flip it through. Rolling puck into the zone. Sherlock will take it to the corner. And this game is headed to overtime. OT period. Suzuki will face off against Leno. Time underway. Montreal control. Petrie pressured by Gaudreau. Bobble the puck on the He tried to make a play to Anderson, but that was intercepted. And now Montreal breaks up. Two on one. Pitlick with Sherratt. Here's Pitlick. Sherratt scores! Second of the game for Ben Sherratt. Wins it in overtime as Montreal knocks off Calgary 5-4. Game time goal in the third, and then he finishes off that wonderful pass from Pitlick.